what Genghis Khan wants, he usually gets. Stymied by our defenses at Jiangguan, the Mongol leader has turned to his envoy, Tsar Bar, a former emissary to Zhongdu. Evidently, this Tsar Bar knew of a hidden path through the woods off to the north. Using this secret way around our flank, the fortress city of Jiangguan fell. The Mongols are on their way to Zhongdu. Upgrade our defenses at Zhongdu quickly, young architect. The great Khan's army will be upon us before long. If you can defeat him, the Jin dynasty will have written a glorious new chapter in the long history of our great land. Take this opportunity to then expand Zhongdu, growing it into a city that will be unsurpassed in the imperial records of China. 72 months of heroes, I think, is going to be the hardest part of this mission. Okay, I've already got my... Let's just upgrade this in real time here. I will need food. I will need... Hemp. I will need... Am I doing ceramics here? Oh good. I'm not. Let's do another food shop. Let's come down here. Eight of those, eight of those, and it looks like we are empty on the hemp. Meaning I will need some new hemp. Why do I have twelve going down here? We'll go to eight. Okay, so I should already have the heavenly no. I will. These will be 25 apiece, so that should be that. Obviously, they were losing out on something. Okay. Uh, I've got 428 people. It's time to put them towards building a new monument. We'll just put this right here. Um, or, or not, because I need to... Yeah, whatever. We'll put it right here. Okay, this is going to need... Wood, stone, and clay. Now, where was I getting the stone from? Uh, was I getting stone at all? Who gives stone? Ping Yao. Do I have one? I do. Where is it? That's Chengdu. These guys. And the dog barking in the background. Okay. So let's go ahead. Just employ everyone here. Uh, ceramics. Masons. How's the food situation? Fine, fine. Oh, Christ. She's already unhappy. Uh, have, have some weaponry. Uh oh. Shen Nong's angry too. So, yeah, damn. Taoism and Confucianism. Did I have Buddhism too? Why is he happy? It shouldn't be. That'd be my next major area of concern. Maximum fort. Uh, let's put in a catapult next. Wow, look how much I took up right there. 400 more people are coming in. We need 6,000. That's enough. So I need... Put that there. Start taxing these people. I will also need an acupuncturist. I'm going to fill this up.
And I guess I could start selling the uh, ceramics. And that would probably be enough. Because I haven't started selling ceramics in the other area either. So like over here and here. Once I did that, actually, yeah, let's do it. Because between the both of those, well, you know what? I'll only do it here. That combined with these guys should be 6,000. Should be. We'll find out. This should be built really quickly. Then we just need to worry about keeping the gods happy. Ceramics. You get 10 ceramics. Now he's just neglected. God, that's going to be the worst part of this. I've got all the people, because I was very prescient there. In the last episode, well, the last episode we, we were in this city. Uh, where did I put all my silk? Ma oh yeah, they're down here. Um, oh yeah, we've got big monies coming in. Where was my... Right, it was over here. Okay, so I am making my print money. I can't make more. One mint. That's it. What's wrong with you guys? You're out of ceramics? Out of ceramics? We had a whole friggin' stockpile. I guess I could increase the ceramics industry. What I should do... Uh, nope, there's a rock there. Never mind. I was going to build a road. 2,000 more people. I mean, what am I going to do? That was really dumb. I should have actually waited to do the uh, population stuff until, like, the last. Christ, I don't know. Ten paper. I'm going to juggle her and the rest of the gods, and it's just going to be very bad for all of us. For everyone involved. Oh yeah, that was bad. Now I'm gonna have like 7,000 people. And just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of useless people. Okay, I know how to fix this. I will just build a very large very awkward I think masons are probably one of the bigger ones people that took. Gotta keep on top of this religion or else I am screwed. Give away weapons. Now he's neglected. God, I just need more. I need more shit. Why am I buying so much lacquer? The only people I'm even giving the lacquerware to are the elites. They're getting way too much as it is. Oh, I see it affected these guys too, that's why I've got so much. That's okay though. That is okay. What are we waiting on? Just uh, stone, I guess. Which is limited by how much I can buy, which is 12 per year. And when I need more. Shit. Okay, no, you can't have lacquerware. We need to give away five now. I can't give away stone. We need that. God damn it. Produce more. Shit. 
shit, now Nuwa's gonna go home. How long has she been here? 19 months. That is going to be the absolute worst. Now, let's see. Shoot. I am worshipping the wrong group of people. In fact, I'm just gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna switch to Buddhism. Because once that pagoda goes, we'll get some of the, uh... Some of the Buddhist heroes. Well, we've already got one who's happy. So if I start worshipping the Buddhists, we'll get him. And we can just send Nuwa home. Yeah. There's gonna be more, which is gonna be just goddamn awful. Uh, wood? That's not gonna work. I'm going to need massive amounts of people. Okay, good. We'll get him for a while then. Uh, let's build that. And add... How about a new infantry fort? What in the hell is that? They're doing road construction around here, well, street construction. Uh, and so there's all sorts of heavy industry going on outside. But it sounds like someone's mowing their lawn with a helicopter out there, Jesus Christ. There's just too many. There's just too many, and we don't have enough of the good stuff. Fuck. Give away wheat? That's not gonna help. See, the thing is, all that good stuff is imported. I suppose I could increase the ceramics. I can't see how much I've got in ceramics anymore. I've got new ceramics. We need to increase the ceramics industry now. They just need jobs. Any job at all. Possibly some more hemp farms would help. I really should have waited on this. Pagoda will almost be built. I'm just trying to keep them above angry at this point. Okay, maximum number of soldiers. Let's have a new one. I think I'll have to bring this back. Look at that, 900 people. I'll just fold this back in on itself. start doing more of this. Although I could have another little branch here. If I go something like that. Put an inspector's tower there. Um, put another one for good measure.
could, good. I can only imagine what that's doing to the appeal of this whole area. Is this almost done? No, oh, goddammit, Mongols. Now is not the time. Pleased, you need to be happier than pleased. If we're gonna get that 72, we're not even halfway there. Where are my goddamn ceramics? Surely we have room for all that. Wow, looks like we're running out of food. More farms, then. Good enough. Looks like I could also do a little bit more silk. Shut up. There. Can I please? That is it? <laughs> you know, I'm giving away so much that uh, it's probably going to come back and bite me because these guys aren't going to have any. I'm giving it all away. I could alleviate Jesus Christ alleviate my problem just a little bit by deleting some houses. That's a good idea too, actually, because unemployed people still take up resources. So I could help that just a bit. What else can I give you now? Stone. I think we're done with the stone. Shennong is getting, uh... Fuck you, guys! Oh, this is just bullshit. Okay, well, maybe I should stop selling this stuff. That would be a good way to stockpile it. Instead of being a dumbass. I don't care what the Mongol Empire thinks of me. Stop it. Now, unfortunately, that means our revenue is just going to dip. It's going to go just plummeting to the ground. What is the... Uh, no, you guys want appetizing food. That way they're not taking all the resources. I kind of did this badly. Okay, and the gods are gone. This is no good. Stone, ceramics, I can't give... See, 24, I mean, that's fucking ridiculous. Let's give away all my paper. Okay, they like paper. I guess we'll go paper industry then. Full bore paper. Well, since it's basically just going to be me doing that, what are we waiting on? Get a piece of fucking clay over here. What the hell are you doing? That better be for me. Jesus Christ. Well, as I said, once this pagoda is built... It needs how many... Nine more stone. We are... Buying stone, okay, yes. Employees, ah, oh, fuck. That's exactly what happened. Doomsday is here. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause this and fill out the whole place with food and just all sorts of stuff. 
Okay, the Grand Pagoda is complete. Let's see who that made happy. Uh, only those two, but that means they'll come anyway. Gwandi is also happy, so I guess I could have stayed over in Taoism, whatever. Uh, let's not give that away. Paper? Paper makes them happy. Gonna have to increase my paper making, I think. Um, I've basically cleaned out all these guys just so I could have some more uh, some more workers at the time, anyway. I've just gone out and made a mess out of everything. But now that we're having this very large group of people coming back... I'm gonna have to work for them again. I could have just turned these all off rather than destroy them, but of course that means I would have had to sit here and click all of them, and this is just easier. I've got so much money it doesn't matter. These guys are doing fine now. We've got food stabilized. It got pretty bad though for a while there. I was down to needing a thousand people, and uh, that was no good. Jesus Christ, and they still want stuff. How about six? Let's do all these ceramics and silk shops. I should really do that instead. Um, you know, if I just made some of these... Let's not get rid of all of those. Let's do accepting silk and accepting ceramics. And that should open that up a bit. Let's also take this and accept paper. And we'll see what that does. So now basically... Shit. Yeah, okay. Food went down and never came back up. Fill that in now, quick, go! There should just be an army of people waiting outside to dump this off. So anyway... Once I can get the, uh... We're almost there. But, uh, this is going to be a while yet before I can get all my systems balanced. There we go, and right back up again. Okay. Okay, I've only got a few months to go on the heroes, but uh, the Mongolian Empire has tried to invade me twice, and they are coming once more. So, I decided, now that I've got the Monkey King in town, let's see if I can't conquer these bastards. I'm going to enlist everyone, but we'll save... Um, leave those guys behind. And the Dauntless Rats, those are developing. But let's see if seven units plus the Monkey King can defeat these bastards. And I want Jade. I want Jade as a tribute. I probably should have sent a spy that way. Your generals do not think it wise to attack this horrible enemy. It will be as successful as rolling an egg down a mountain. Really? You sure about that? Sons of bitches. Fine. Well, I can still send a spy there to sabotage their military and their uh, food supply. That should fuck them up. Well, fine. We'll play it safe for the next six months. But uh, overall, this mission could have been, well... I was going to say it could have been a lot harder, but, uh, I mean, look at all the crap I had to do to sort of balance it out. Happy New Year. Okay, one month to go now. This
still isn't built. I guess it just takes a very long time to wind up there. Genghis Khan's troublesome horde of Mongols has been defeated at the gates of Zhongdu. Someday they will no doubt return, but for now Zhongdu is secure, growing and flourishing under your inspired leadership. Zhongdu has blossomed into a leading city on the world stage, a fitting capital for this dynasty and all of those to come. Splendid work, great leader. You have followed the long and difficult course of Chinese history, from the earliest times to the glories of the Chinese imperial age. During this age, the Western world remains in darkness. But thanks to your skill and dedication, the glories of China are unsurpassed. Congratulations, son of heaven. And that's the game. As always with Impressions games, they are fantastic city-building games. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they stopped making them. Well, they are, of course, making Medieval Mayor. Well, it's not, it's not Impressions games. Rather, it is the lead designer uh, for these games is joining Tilted Mill and teaching them how to make a game properly. And so we'll see how that one turns out. But it's supposed to go back to this sort of walker-based city building, uh, you know, layout, individual neighborhoods and crap like that, so that should be interesting. But that said, I am glad this game is finally over. It took me, what, nine, ten months? And granted that wasn't all at once, I was taking large breaks in between, but man, just had to power through this last campaign because it was really just building up a very obnoxiously large city and dealing with all of the unemployed people. Trying to keep your food and other supplies in stock is probably the hardest part of it. But now it's time to say goodbye, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next Let's Play.